Hey Diggies, okay today we are doing cherry blossoms. Now this was requested by Nye Eve and Manisha M right here on YouTube. So thank you very much for your request. I really enjoyed doing these. Now this video would have been up a bit earlier, but I was we're still getting my room ready for the room tour. And let me tell you, it's looking really cool. I've got white walls, I'm just waiting for my shelves to go up so I can take everything off my dining room table and put it all on, you know, put it all away and stuff. So I'm really excited about doing this. It's gonna be so much fun. Anyway, so let's get into this gorgeous cherry blossom if I just say so myself uh, I really hope you like it so to make this super easy I'm just using two polishes for this many that is OPI's black onyx and OPI's alpine snow they're the only two polishes that I'm using uh, the rest is just acrylic craft paint and that is of course the black acrylic craft paint white and then also a really lovely pink all matte by the way all of my almost all of my acrylic craft paint is matte now firstly going to make the background and to do that I'm using my elf concealer brush you've seen me use this in quite a few videos previously it creates this lovely mottled effect on your nails now you don't have to use an actual elf concealer brush but uh, a short stubby brush would be really good especially when you don't really care about too much or was really cheap because you want to you're going to actually be stabbing it at your nail <laughs> like not in a really homicidal fashion but you are going to be stabbing it on your nail so as you can see I'm mixing the white and the black uh, um, polish <laughs> sorry <laughs> lost my train of thought for a second there uh, and, and sort of making like a grey and then going back in uh, because I wanted the middle very middle part of the nail to be a little bit lighter and the outer area to be a little bit darker and in some areas I've stabbed my uh, brush back into the black polish and come back and, and added a couple of sort of darker black splotches but very minimal amount around the outside of my nail just to shore up the darkness of the outside of the design. I hope that makes sense. It sounded really fancy or very intelligent when I was saying it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway that's just in my head so there's a tiniest bit of cleanup so I, could, I love using this elf concealer brush or something like that like as I say you don't have to use that particular brush but it creates virtually no mess and even the mess that it does create on your skin is very very thin so it is so easy to clean up now uh, I'm doing that design or that mottled effect on the two middle nails the two outer nails have the black uh, a black onyx by OPI which is also the color I'm using in this thing oh my god I'm rambling sorry <laughs> as I mentioned before the layer of paint or the layer of polish that you're putting onto your nail right here for this mottled sort of background design is so thin that you could come back in this quite a few times like say for instance you put too much dark in the middle and you want to shore it up with a little bit of white and make that sort of a little bit lighter it doesn't matter how really how many times you come back in because it's a very 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 thin coat of polish that you're putting on there using that brush so like you'd have to do it maybe a gazillion times to make it really thick and goopy so don't be too concerned about that at all Okay, so next I want to show you the brush that we're going to be using for the cherry blossom. It's from Fabio Nails. It's a double-ended brush. Those diamantes in the middle are just decorative. You can't get them out and use them on your nails, unfortunately. So as you can see, one end is very tiny little fine detail brush, and the other end is a another fine detail brush, but it's a medium length, sort of not a long liner brush, but a medium length liner brush. It's really, really pretty. A very nice brush. Now this brush is called the Fun Double Sided Brush and it's $7.50. I will put links to Fabio Nails in the description box down below as per usual. Okay, so now because we're not using actual watercolour paints, we're using acrylic craft paint which is a lot thicker, has a lot of, lot thicker consistency. Uh, we're going to add quite a bit of water to this one drop of black acrylic craft paint. About 30 drops of water to be honest, something around that you know like you'll get a feel for how thin you need it to be uh, and the great thing about using acrylic craft paint is if you make a mistake or if you make it too thick you can wipe it off and start again so for the first design on the ring finger nail I'm going to start the design at the corner of one of the nail of, of that nail and then bring it towards the opposite corner and then on the 
middle nail, we're going to start at the top of the nail and bring it down towards the opposite corner of, you can see what I'm doing. Makes perfect sense when you just watch it and turn off the sound, doesn't it? <laughs> I think I just confuse things a lot more. Now, as you can see, I'm using the longer end of this Fabio Nails brush, so the medium length liner brush. And you're basically going to get the brush to do most of the work for you. The sort of making that kind of branchy, squiggly kind of lines will pretty much be done by the brush. You just let the brush move across your nail. So next we're going to prepare the pink and white paint and we're just putting a drop on either side of this one little circle on the Simply Neat Miracle Mat and adding a bucket load of water to each of those drops to thin that paint out. Now firstly we're going to use the pink paint to create the little cherry blossom shapes and these are literally super easy. You're just making little blobs. As you can see I'm now using, I switched the brush over and now using the smaller end of the brush and we're just making these tiny winny little little blossoms and once you have the pink down you can then start adding highlights using the white you can also mix the white and pink together to do this and that would sort of be like a one-step process rather than the two-step process that I'm showing you but you want to have sort of varying degrees of the pink like dark bits of the pink and light bits of the pink and that'll help to give your blossoms a little bit more depth Oh, it does so sound like I know what I'm talking about, doesn't it? <laughs> hmm. Now I got to this point and I was looking at my branches and I was thinking, I don't really have a lot of character in them and they don't really look a lot like cherry blossoms to me so what I did was get some of the black paint that I was using previously and added some sort of gnarly bits to like just some more branches to the already you know the branches that are already done and what that does is give you a little bit more of an authentic kind of cherry blossom willow type Japanese tree so at least that's what I was going for I think I think I kind of achieved it. I wore this manicure for two days and didn't want to take it off, so I kind of really liked it. And then the final step that I thought, you know, I was being all clever clogs about, um, I wanted to give the uh, the surrounding, or at least the, the base of the tree, a little bit more of a ghost-like appearance or a bit more of a watercolour-like appearance. So uh, I watered down the paint even more, the black paint, and sort of worked around the outside of each of the branches and especially at the trunk of the tree. I hope you can see what I'm trying to do but I was just trying to give it a little bit more sort of authenticity I guess you could say. I don't know if I achieved that but anyway. Now once you're happy with your design you can go ahead and seal it all in with a good quality top coat. I of course am using set feet as per usual. And that's it for this one. I really hope you like it. Thank you so much to Naive and Manisha M for requesting this one. I'm uh, going back now to have a look at the other requests and I will be getting onto those as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching again. I will see you next time. Bye chickies. I want to thank you for subscribing and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye. <laughs>